Good morning, folks. We've got points to hit from beneath our feet to about 400 million light years away, so we should probably get started. Let's kick off, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star. Solar minimum is what comes to mind. We've got no activity whatsoever, as even the brighter areas where we'd expect to see solar flaring and sunspots are not flaring and don't have them. The surface magnetism belies the lack of sunspots actually present on the surface. All have decayed or turned away in the last day and a half. Solar wind remains intensified, but has gained a touch of stability and even calmed a little bit. This is allowing slow recovery of Earth's magnetic field as we just went 24 hours without an official storm condition for the first time in five days. Coming now to Soho, we do have a little sun diving comet, very tough to see. Hopefully we will get some good visuals in the next few hours, but also on Soho is Mercury about to oppose the sun and so we're seeing almost 100% solar brightness reflection there. On to solarsystemscope.com, we'll run in and see that indeed Mercury is about to conjoin the sun. We're looking for the expected March and April earthquake uptick to be between that and the Jupiter alignment next month. Right now the coronal hole situation is modest a weak but large and leading edge of the northern coronal hole is turning around with the bulk mass of it still behind the limb awaiting its turn. Yesterday we had another example where the largest quake of the day struck the red alert zone, but it wasn't quite large enough to count for the official statistics two days in a row. We're over at GPM now, checking out the ice height peaks and a run through the wild and deadly weather that ripped across the U.S. as February ended and we entered March. After this, we jump way out to Galaxy 12591. First glance and it's just okay, but where are the spiral arms? Do you actually even see anything but concentricity? Rings expanding out. To me, it looks like a concentric ring galaxy, similar to how planetary disks appear as stars begin maturing their local systems. Rain will linger at the west coast, and while it shifts inland, the gulf eyes a strong rainmaker coming at Louisiana. We'll be monitoring that one closely. Across the pond in Europe, it's still the low anchored offshore, reaching as far inland as the eastern block, though, and with a rough rain event arriving at the UK overnight tonight. Down under, we're still watching that strong system in the north, but it is separated now from the eastern system, and she begins bouncing towards New Zealand today. Eyes on it. Well, folks, even with three cancellations yesterday, the numbers of tickets dwindled further. Won't even tell you how many are left. The Embassy Suites is running out of rooms as well. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We're going to try to get out a deeper look episode today. And of course, you've got your hour-long podcast recorded yesterday under the fly on the wall section as well. Right now, we've got more wind map, an expanded null school run, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.